Well, good morning. My name is Tom, and if you've been following any of my videos, uh, you see that I do a lot of deer hunting and I do a lot of fishing. Uh, I've picked up another boat. To uh, This will not replace the Amy Lynn. If uh, anybody knows the Amy Lynn that's been following my videos, what I have, I, I, this boat cost me $150. I got it in the utility trailer right now because the trailer I'm going to put under it is up at the cabin. I'm at home base today. But 30 miles from my cabin is a lake that has some really, really big lake trout in it. Uh, the problem with the Amy Lynn for there is the boat landing is absolutely terrible. Uh, it's, it's quite a ways out in the woods. Uh, and so if I get stuck out there or have any problems, uh, I'm a long ways from help. This boat is a 1966 StarCraft Aluminum. I paid $150 for it. This is going to be a series video. I'm going to show you how you take a $150 14-foot aluminum boat and turn it into a lake trout fishing boat. Uh, what you see here, the windshield will go. Probably the steering wheel will go. I'm not 100% sure of that yet. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the steering wheel in. Uh, so my grandchildren can steer the boat. I, I operate outboards from the uh, stern. I'm a stern guy. Uh, but if I leave the wheel hooked in, I can still control the motor a little bit and have the boys uh, drive the boat. So that might be fun. So I'm still thinking about that. But I will turn this, I'm going to turn this into a lake trout fishing boat. And you'll see what I mean as this goes on. It'll probably only take me a couple of days. I'll give you a grand tour of this boat once I get done jabbering here. But I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to have a little project here. And I'd like to share it with uh, you if you're interested in following along. I really like this boat. This is a back view from it. For a 14 foot boat, it actually is really quite deep. And the uh, stern is really really well built. I have a 15 Hoss Johnson that I can put on the back of it but I think what I'm gonna run on here is another I have another 8 Hoss Johnson I think that's more than enough for uh, lake trout fishing so I just wanted to give you an inside look of this boat I will lift the camera up here in a moment so you can see inside it's full of leaves I need to put in some seats and the top hat. I really like the style up on the front I'll bring you around to the front so you can see that. Here's the bow of the boat. I really like the style up here. How it comes up to a nice sharp point. I'll be painting the top of that hunter green. Uh, everything I fish and hunt with is hunter green. And eventually the boat will all be hunter green. Here's the stern. This is what I really like about it. Look at those heavy duty aluminum braces. Uh, this is an absolute rugged, rugged boat. That's what I like about the boats from back in the 50s and the 60s. Uh, they did not spare the aluminum. I have a, my Amy Lynn is a 1957. I also have a 1971 Starcraft 16 foot. And this one right here is a 1966. I absolutely love this boat. Uh, right now it is a mess. I will be cleaning out the leaves today. Stripping off the windshield, deciding about the, the steering wheel. I might leave that in for a maiden voyage uh, just to see how I like it. Uh, normally, I don't like steering wheels. Uh, that black board that's all peeled up there, that'll become hunter green. Like I said, the windshield will be gone. When I am finished with this boat, you will not recognize it. I will turn this into a lake trout fishing machine. Uh, that is what I love to do with boats, and that's what I am going to do with this one. I will be taking it out of this trailer, like I said. I have a boat trailer for it up at the cabin already. Because I buy old boats like this and fix them up, I have lots of boat parts uh, already on hand. I have an 8 horse motor to go on it. I have a trailer for it. The last boat I bought came with a depth finder. Uh, I've saved that. It works. That will get mounted in this boat. The 1971 StarCraft I bought, I will be showing you that on a video. That cost me $200 with a trailer. And it had lots of pots and pieces on it. Uh, the 71 is my retirement boat. It's as big as the Amy Lynn, but I can get into it easier as I get older. 
Step one for bringing one of these old boats back to being a fishing boat is just plain give it a good bath. I got the numbers covered up on the front. I just don't think I want all them numbers out there all over the world. <laughs> you get the point. There's a transom all cleaned up. What a nice rugged transom. I've given the whole boat a bath with just a uh, dish detergent and a scrubby brush. See the Amy Lynn up in the background. We're not replacing her. We're just getting a smaller boat for a different lake. Well, the inside's done. Leaves are cleaned out. Now what I'm going to do is remove that uh, windshield up there and any wiring that's in the boat so I can start out with new wiring for my lights and my uh, depth finder. Well, looking better already. She's cleaned up on the inside. Got the windshield removed. Wash some of the crud off the front so she's looking a lot better. Next, I'll be going after that steering wheel, I think. Got a couple more loose parts to take off. I always take off anything that people have put on themselves just to get rid of it, get it off the boat. The reason for that is it's a good place to hang up lines. And when you're playing these big lakers, you don't need anything on the boat that's going to hinder your being able to net a uh, 20 or 30 pound uh, lake trout. What I mean by loose parts is this right here is a pot to the windshield that was holding that on. I'm going to get rid of that. Up here is something else that they had hanging on to the windshield. As well as an old switch right there. So all that stuff has got to go. You don't want anything on this boat that can uh, hang up uh, while you're playing a fish. I don't know if you can see, but up in front of the boat it had a uh, little shelf that I just got put back in. That looks like a great place to store some tackle boxes to me. So I've decided I'm going to keep that shelf. And uh, I want to make it so everything in there is removable. Because on my boats, I keep them so that I could spend the night if I had to. I keep enough gear with me that I could pull up to shore. And if I have to, I could even drop the anchor and crawl in underneath uh, the cover of the front of this thing. And uh, throw, a, throw a top over the rest of me. And I could spend the night uh, out on the lake if I had to. So that's always my game plan when it comes to boats and boating. So just thought I would show you that little shelf. So this is going to wrap up part one of this video. I will be, it'll probably be two or three parts to make this thing come together. I will be uh, videotaping as I go along. Because I'd really like to show people how you turn a $150 boat into an awesome, awesome uh, lake fishing boat uh, without a whole lot of money uh, so that's what I intend to do during this little series is turn this boat into my uh, new trout fishing boat so thank you for coming along I hope you find this interesting uh, and I absolutely love this little boat that I just picked up so I will catch you on the next one